Well, we're over the Grand National fences next. The Beecher Chase, three and a quarter miles, not to 160. Over the famous fences. Let's get a look at the full list of runners. Sierra Vista Medusa at the top four. Vinnie Gerard, Zeraldo, Zafra and Haberley. Or oh, Darren Thompson, Sacred Memorial, Leon Van Rensburg. Bring me luck. Graham Clutterbuck, activist Leon Van Rensburg. Mallorca Dream, David Hooley. Donna Bin and Giran Citizen. Or oh, David Robertson, Unionist. Or oh, John Morgan, Games Without Frontiers. For Padre Hogan, Magic Word, Craig Beckwith, Hot Springs Wins. Vinnie Gerard, keep the contract, Craig Beckwith, over the clover, Padre Hogan, Langley Street, Graham Clutterbuck, and Sizzling Tail for Paul Parsons. Big field of 17 then. And away, there you go. All safely over the first, with the Union East, the leader for John Morgan, which we might well have expected. Goes off into a fall and as he gets into this big ditch, and sure where we are on the track that might be the fence that is the third yeah they've actually lost one at the back hot springs wins was a faller not that last one so they get over the third and union east is well clear of games without frontiers in second Here comes bring me luck and dollar bin Get more bearings for where we are, and of course, actually, that one they took there might have been the might have been Valentine's morning. I don't know, I can't remember anyway. Union East is in the lead, looks like we're swinging into the straight now. So, yeah, three fences ago, that probably would have been or it could have been the final ditch on that back track on that back back part of the track, which is got a name I can't remember anyway. Union East is the leader on Games Without Frontier in second, then comes Bring Me Luck. Zeraldo, Zafra and Donna Bin and a bit of a gap to the rest of them are headed by activists, they're well strung out already and Union East takes the fence, it'll be the last next time round and didn't take it all that well gone away with it heads towards the chair which will have to jump considerably better than that Just so, you can see they all give the chair pretty well. Oh, I don't actually remember seeing anything ever fall at the chair. I think there's probably something needs to be done about that. I don't know what it is. There must be something that they like, all jump too high or something. Anyway, they're all over the water as well. Because nothing ever falls at the water either, does it? I think maybe the chair has got the same sort of code in it that the water jump's got. And nothing ever falls. You go back through the races in the previous seasons and see if you can find a faller at the chair. Well, it's Union East who's the leader. We're on Games Without Frontiers in second, then Bring Me Luck is third, and Zeraldo Zafra. Then Donna Bint, and the Yorker Dream. A gap to Giran Citizen. Towards the back side, Sizzling Tail is just the back marker. As they take the next. So I was going to say we'll be, first, we'll be the first in tomorrow's Grand National, but we're nowhere near Grand National time yet, are we? And they're all over that one as well. A mistake by Langley Streak towards the back, but Union East is well clear. A good six or seven lengths and getting over this big ditch, number three. Number three will be number three in a Grand National. It's number ten, did I think it was? Over the next they go. Over that one, okay, with Union East the clear leader. Came to that frontiers is still just about second ahead of Bring Me Luck and Zeraldo Zafra. Then comes Donna Bin and Mallorca Dream. So they take the 12th. They're making their way down towards Beaches shortly with Union East. They cut down to about four or five now. This is Beaches Brook. Safely over that one as well. Zeraldo Zafra just poked his head into second as they take the four Haven fence. Uh, one or two made mistakes there. Even though that's the smallest fence on the course, with the exception of the water. Union East is the leader. Head into the canal turn with Zeraldo Zafra in second. 
Oh, stream over the canal. Okay, and head on towards Valentine's. With the Union East in the lead. Zeraldo Zafra second, games out front is third, and then Bring Me Luck is next. They get over Valentine's, and this is where they'll start to race now. With a mile to go, they'll start there. Manoeuvring for positions, they'll try and get this Union East back to the pack. I think he'll probably try and kick on as he gets over to 17th, but he didn't jump that all that quickly. Making a forward move there, a sacred memorial, but it's Union East continuing to lead. Bring Me Luck is in second. On the inside, Zeraldo Zafra is in third. Giran Citizen is cruising around the outside. They get over that final big ditch, and they've just got plain ones to go now, and Union East is the leader, but only by about two and a half to Bring Me Luck, who's going to be the first one to challenge. Look at this sizzling tail creeping into it as they get over that one. Giran Citizen, Mallorca Dream, Sacred Memorial, plenty in with chances, but they've still got to get to this Union East, who's hanging on in front. Now, Mallorca Dream comes through with Sacred Memorial, and these two are going to be the first two to take him on. Here comes Sizzling Tail, and also around the outside, Magic Word for Craig Beckwith is getting into it as well. They've got two to jump, and a very long run in, and Union and East is now being taken on by Sizzling Town, and Sizzling Town it is who's gone into the lead. Sizzling Town then quickly going too clear of Union East in second, then Mallorca Dream, Sacred Memorial, Magic Word, one or two of those runs have petered out pretty quickly and Sizzling Tail has gone on, Union East is trying to fight back, coming down to the second last, over the second last they go the leader jumped it slowly though, and now Union East is trying to get back up on the inside it's Sizzling Tail and Union East who are coming down towards the final fence then, and Union East is getting back into the lead on the inside, Sizzling Tail looks to be beaten now as they come down towards the final fence, Union East landed lead, Sizzling Tail was over it slowly, Bring Me Luck is back in third, Sacred Memorial fourth, they're heading down towards the elbow, and it looks like Union East is going to make this a pretty much pillar of the post victory, he lost the lead for a short time, but not for very long, and racing past the chair with just over half a furlong to go, they're not going to get anywhere near this one, it's another one for John Morgan, and Union East He's going to take this one pretty comfortably. He's going to be close to a second. Just take the oil. Bring me luck. And then the Yorker Dream Sizzling Tail activist after that. All the way back to Langley Street. Happily went somewhere whilst out the back. Uh, Union East put them all to their sword by setting a strong pace. Made a few mistakes, but still won it by a good eight lengths at least. John Morgan, who he's getting some winners in. So Union East, the winner for John Morgan. Bring me luck second for. Graham Clutterbuck, Sacred Memorial, Leon Van Rensburg was third. Si Sizzling, what do I going to call, I call that sizing tail? Sizzling tail was next for Paul Parsons. And fifth was my Yorker dream for David Hooley.